Yeah, so much for avoiding Ruvik's eye. What are we doing? What? Do I... What does that do? Oh my god, are you serious? What's this? Uh, okay. Fuck it. Cool. Get, get all this shit. Thank you so much for the trap parts. Thank you for that. Okay. Let's check this out. I've got 21 trap parts. So I'm guessing probably you start making them now. Let's see. Okay, got you. Fuck. I need to go get it. Can I can I pull it out? Nope. Can't. There is a syringe right there though. So I wasted that harpoon bolt. I just need to oh okay, I just need to pick up pick up items around the map, I think. What's up here from where they came? Okay, cool. Trap parts. Get that. There we go. What happened? Oh, more were unleashed? Okay. Did he give me anything? Any more of these dudes? go. Ah! Missed him. Uh, let's see. Let's save the Magnum for actual Rubik. Oops. <laughs> Not too good at that. You guys coming up? Friggin' weirdos. Burn him. Go. Fuck. That's not. I don't think that that's very fair. Oh! Okay, they're all burned. Picked up some. some bullets. I like that. Did you guys. Fuck. Ow. I need to concentrate. Let's move up here. They did drop stuff. There you go. Doing pretty good on ammo. I mean, I don't know how many... Uh... Of these enemies will have to deal with, but... Alright, fuck it. Idiot, you're the last one. Critical upgrade, bitch! Okay, so, uh, what happens now? Yeah, I hit him in the eye, I guess. What now? Fake Ruvik? I freaking hate... Fake Ruvik. What now? What did... I... I pulled out the fucking match. 
What a dipshit. God, that pisses me off. I pulled out the match. Fucking horrible. I'm horrible. This is such... There! Now we got him! Now we fucking got him! God! You leave me anything? Of course you didn't. Cheapskate. Useless. Alright, let's go around and pick up stuff, because we just got this one slow dude to worry about right now. It's like perfect time for us to check out the map. Free trap parts? Well worth it. Okay, thanks for the bottle. I mean, I don't think that there's any penalty for running around like this, right? Oh, good. Brain juice, just, just what I needed. Let's, see, let's move up here. All right, cool. Thanks. Ooh, another syringe. We're full on that, but got one to use, so take that one. There we go. Checkpoint! All right. Who... who next? I don't know what that does. What... what is the goal here? We... we just hit a checkpoint. Uh-oh. He's somewhere. I can't tell any, like, changes to the environment or anything. I mean... Oh, hey, dudes! What? Well... There we go. Got a got a couple of them right there. Uh, okay. No, 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 no. I wanted to use the match. I like how it's stuck to my butt like that. Oop. What? No! What? Okay, we're gonna have to, uh, yeah. I cannot afford to be slow in this scenario. Thank you. Is that a torch? I know. How am I supposed to take this guy out? Oh, okay. He, he ran out of that, and now he's got his chainsaw. So we are kind of we are gonna have to do like a boss rush. Cool. I'm actually kind of excited about that. Guys, guys, a fast motherfucker. Ow. Freeze him. Oh wow, he killed his own dude! That's awesome. What? 
Yeah, this stamina bar is really helping out. Um, should I bring up the Magnum? I don't feel like I should. Because he's like the least problematic of all the bosses. If we're going to have a boss rush, I mean. I finally did this. Everyone's been telling me to do this. The whole game. To straighten out the crossbow like that. Yeah, feel bad. But... He's still not dead. That's okay. Yeah... What? Where are you going, dude? Hmm. I don't even know if I can shoot him in the head because he's got that armor on. Seems like the ammo is respawning. Fuck. I forgot that that was a dead end up there. Which is super helpful, if it is. I feel like... It's not. It's just people are dying and I'm not picking up their shit. Yeah, that's probably the case. He was right there, I didn't even notice. Ooh, good. Drop parts? It, it would have been cool if he dropped a rocket launcher. Aww. Yeah, see you later, buddy. What do we got? We got one shotgun shell, four handgun bullets, none of these. So we can probably craft... I feel like the most bang for our buck is going to be these harpoon bolts. Like... There we go. Took him out. I'll take your stuff, man. You better give me some stuff. Just brain juice. Thanks. So what now? Who now? Laura, perhaps? Thank you. I'll take that. I guess I can go through this door up here now, alright? Because he came out. Yeah, alright. Ooh, next area. All new items to, uh, to take. Yeah, this looks like a Laura area. What? Did I just die in like two hits? That is disappointing. Very disappointing. Luckily there's a checkpoint right here. Ew. Those graphics. Yuck. This look bad. <laughs> okay. Yeah, probably need to take this out. Okay, let's do it. What? Hi, bud. Pick your pick your head up. You idiot. Come on. Come on. Did I get him? There's a dude over there as well. Ooh. Sniper. Good eye, sniper. I don't know if we got him or not. It's hard because, like, you can't burn him. You... I, I guess we didn't kill him. Or maybe he just came back. Yeah, good job, idiot. Come on. There we go. 
really hate those guys. Let's see if we can take out this, this guy right here. So we finally, he's gonna blow himself up. Good. Good, 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 good. Now, over here, there's still one dude. Which I think I'm just gonna take the easy way out. There we go. Flaming harpoon bolts, like, really expensive, but surprisingly worth it. In a lot of, a lot of circumstances. Did they leave me anything? Please say that they did. Alright, I'll take it. Hmm. I'm always full. Maybe I should have set my syringe limit to three. I think that stamina was the right move, though. I think you're done. I don't believe you're coming back to life. Okay, anything else? Did I miss anything? Just want to make sure. No point in burning this guy. I've only got five matches. I gotta save him. Alright, time to keep going in the gauntlet. Anything on the sides? Nope. Oh god. This like this hallway summarizes the entire game. Just too much viscera. I mean it feels kind of outlasty sometimes, but Outlast does outlast better than than the evil within does. That's for sure. Speaking of which, Outlast Whistleblower, surprisingly, I think was one of the best releases, horror releases of uh, 2014. And part of that... Uh-huh. Part of that is because there were so many crappy ones throughout the year, but... Okay. That's weird, it was on the fucking floor. I haven't seen that before. How'd I, how'd I do that? How'd your hands pass through those? Talented. Man of many talents. Alright, since this is happening, I'll... Gotta be efficient. Hey guys, I'm sorry if this playthrough has ever been boring. The, there's just not a whole lot to go off of commentary-wise sometimes. I mean, this is, this is kind of one of those games you just want to see someone who's really skilled at it play, I feel like. I'm not one of those people. We really need trap parts. I mean, like, I kind of know what I'm doing, but as people have repeatedly pointed out to me, I'm not good at this game, so... You know, okay, it's kind of a series that's left up to the commentary, and there's just not much to comment on a lot of the time. You got a really vague story. All right, this will be open for me once I. There we go. They are loading us up, except for shotgun shells. They don't want us to have those for some reason. What? No. No. <laughs> what? No! There's two of them! Okay. Alright, I'm done with my temper tantrum. What? Oh, he almost slapped me with his meat. Well. Come back here. They're just gonna keep chasing me. Ok, 
Okay. I guess fucking not. Damn it. What? They came around the What? No! No, this is the worst! This is the worst possible situation! What a horrible guy. What a legit, horrible, horrible dude. Um these are good in this situation because it seems like they clump together a lot. They also hit me there. What? How do you just get up like that? Come on, get on up. They can't respawn. It, that would be impossible if they did. This would be... horrible. Alright, good. Whew. Okay, let's see. Um, I like how the explosive bolts are working out so far. But I can't make too much more of them. So... That'll be my last one. Alright, forget it. Good. Oh, sorry. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Still got slapped with the fish. I still... Wow, he went on a fucking rampage there. <sighs> okay, so before they spawn, I need to get all my affairs in order. Alright, here we go. So there's only two safes in here, so I assume they can't respawn once they're dead. I think the difficulty here is just the fact that there's two. Come on, converge together. There we go. Wow. Just shoot him over and over again since he's gonna stand there like an idiot. Okay, he came around the other side, so let's get him. Ow. Okay, since the other one's coming around, let's do this. Yeah, you guys suck. This is funny. Okay. Let's go ahead, get this. And I don't have enough time to do that, so... Oh, fuck. I got tricked. Oh, damn it! <laughs> you got tired of my shit! <laughs> He's dead. Um But why did why did that make it more difficult? Shit. Let's get him. Ow. Let's 
see. Yeah, use. He's still not dead. This must be the guy that... There we go. I was about to say, this must be the guy that I didn't shoot earlier. Alright, good. So they didn't respawn. I'm assuming the spike's on 8,000. That's generous. Very generous. Thank you very much. Thank you so, so much. Uh, nothing else. But I, what I can do is I can go around and, uh... Nope. They've despawned. I was gonna say I can't get the traps. But they're gone. Oh, I was hoping I could get more trap parts. Come on, man. Okay, at least... Nope. Which is a shame because... I currently have... Three trap parts. And I have... One explosive... Bolt, so... Let's continue onward. I'm assuming this is perhaps the Laura stage? Ruvik. I created this world. You cannot keep me here. What the fuck? Okay, this is like... This reminds me of Evil. <laughs> that indie game that I played. Okay, so you avoid the eye, huh? So is this their excuse for stealth? Excuse me, wheelchair. Okay, so don't get spotted. I got it. Seems fairly straightforward so far. I mean... Reach a checkpoint. What? That's... Unfortunate. Ow! No! That that went off super fast. <laughs> oh my god. This game is gonna give me a migraine. I guess we might not face Laura. That's unfortunate. Is it though? Maybe not. Oh. Oh, it just teleports you back. That's the first time it's actually hurt me. Er, not not hurt me, but gotten me. Alright. Here you go, you little shit. That's really tough! It was narrower this time! Okay, uh... So how do I get across here? Huh. Lots of traps right there, too. Um... Hmm... How do we get rid of these? Do I shoot the crosshairs? I just think this probably is not the right way. So let's do this. Okay. What? This is... even more difficult, so... Um... Did it, though. Oh, okay, good. This is better. This is much better. Can I disarm these? Ooh, and I even got a trap part for it. I wasn't sure if I would. 
mean, I technically don't need to do it anymore. I feel like it's just gonna catch me if I try. Okay, cool. We're done there. So what now? Can I shoot this eye? It closes. Ah, I see. So you can shoot it and then run behind a thing. No, what you what are you doing? Okay, I guess not. Fuck. Fuck it. What? The, this game, I think this game's major downfall is death desensitization. Because you just die all the time for random reasons. It feels like an RPG Maker game a lot of the times, like the Witch's House. Like, the, the design feels a lot like that at some point. Like, this reminds me a bit of the game Promise. Fuck. What? You changed the perspective on me. I don't even know if that was automated or not. Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm gonna sound like I'm bitching just all the time, but another thing I really, really can't stand is the fact that they keep, like, transitioning me into these new environments. Like, you were here the whole time. Surprise. Or... I don't know, it's like, you went to the other world and now you're back. It's like this game, you know, with the vague story and everything, it's like it wants to be Silent Hill, but it also wants to be Resident Evil 6, but it also wants to be Outlast, but it also wants to be, like, it, it's just, it doesn't know what it wants to be, it really drives me up the wall. So, what? We're back here? It, it also feels incredibly like no progress is being made whatsoever the entire time you're playing. I think someone commented that you could put the chapters on shuffle and it wouldn't affect anything. <laughs> Which is true. Is there no, can I not spin my green gel? That would be too convenient, I guess. That would make me too excited. That would be too much fun. I don't have my lantern anymore. By the way, because I used it to burn Ruvik that one time and pissed him off. Do I have anything? I don't have anything. Okay, right, I think it might be time for the uh, Magnum to make its grand appearance. I'll try to remember that sniper rifle's over there. Because this feels final bossy here. But yeah. It's like, it, it's like it wants to be, uh, back to what I was talking about earlier, just rehashing. Uh, it feels like it wants to be Silent Hill 4 in particular. I already touched on this a little bit. But it's like, Ruvik is a very I Walter a character. In an elevator again. There's going to be a lot of things you're never going to do again, Sebastian. <laughs> After this experience. Um... Yeah, it seems like it wants to be Silent Hill 4 in particular. Oh god. What now? Anything for me to pick up? Nope. Okay. See ya. What? Okay. Magnifying glass? What do? It can't be. But it is. You're taking a milk bath. Sebastian, get away from him. Huh. 
Sebastian, listen to me. Stop. Your interests are the same as ours. Look, I get it. You're not just some rookie detective, and this is not just some ordinary kid. You killed Joseph and you shot me. So right at this moment, that's enough reason for me not to trust you. You're a good man. That's why I... <sighs> Doesn't matter anymore. If you know who this kid is, if you know anything, you know why he can't be allowed to live. Bullshit. It's Ruvik. He's the one that... Okay. Cool. I died. <laughs> okay. Oh man. We had him like up in the head like Salazar from RE4. <sighs> this game really is like Okay, I okay, I know what to do now. Go to the right cuz you can't duck around the left because there's items in the way. Alright, I've got it. I've got it. Horrible. Ugh. We're beating this damn game. Alright, there we go. I don't know how I'm supposed to know that you can... Okay. Okay. No! Oh no no no! I ran right into it! Urgh. Drive me crazy! Okay. Well, let's beat this game, everybody. Come on. Come on! Was this part 25 or some shit? Let's get this over with. Okay. So we stay to the left. We stay to the left again. What? 
He's got braces, man. Gotta fix those crooked teeth. It was a hundred degrees and sat beneath the willow tree. Is that how it goes? <laughs> crooked teeth. Death cab. What am I doing? No! Don't tell me I have to turret him from the fucking truck! No way! Oh my god, I cannot believe they're making me do this! Cannot believe it! Do I just shoot him in the head now? Is there any point to not firing? Like, do I have to conserve ammo, or do I have to cool it down at all, or can I just keep going? Come on. There we go. Shoot him in the face. Some more. Oh my god, this is so mindless. I really despise any turret section. And for some reason, this game, Resident Evil 5, Resident Evil 6, they just love the shit out of them. Like, Shinji Mikami just loves getting on a turret in the back of a truck. Sorry, cutscene. Oh my god. Here we go. This is a Gears of War 2 ending, I guess. What? That wasn't it. I mean, this is kind of epic. But not really, because it seems impossible to lose. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, what? Maybe not anymore. What? How'd I miss that? How'd I... I aim straight for him. How are these so far off? There we go. We got him once. I'm probably gonna lose now, though. Because I missed him that first time. Yeah, we're done. We're dead. It seems impossible to lose, he said. And then he died. Alright. But now I know that I'm, uh, Now that I know what I'm doing. This, this game is like so draining, it's hard for me to speak. Which is not good, because this is a let's play, right? Okay. Like, okay, that hit him, right? I was just firing him off earlier. So you hit him twice. You hit him three times. Oh my god. I hit him once. We need to start hitting him more. Because he's getting really close for some fucking reason. Why is he so fucking close? Yeah, exposed brain. Oh, we did it. No way.
I created this world. You cannot keep me here. Ruvik. We're in control now? Do we have to shut this down? I'm going to finish this. Can't believe it's just his brain that's been doing this this whole time. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. Shoot it. Stop it. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, I would have been satisfied with a stomp or a punt. Nothing beats a good punt. All right. Leave that one. And those two. They're not going anywhere. No one can. Detective, are you all right? Is there anyone else? Just give me some real fresh air.
Is this the lead singer of the Smashing Pumpkins? No. I thought maybe it was for a second. This is a horrible song, so I guess it doesn't matter. <sighs> Let's just, uh... Skip it. Oh my gosh. Clear bonus! Machine gun acquired! For, for my second playthrough! Of course. And rocket launcher! 50,000 skill points! New game plus and model viewer can now be selected the main menu. A different difficulty setting? Wow! Wow, I had 87 deaths? 17 hours? Seems pretty bad. <laughs> Alright, let's save... Uh, a clear game. Or uh, a clear file. There we go. Wow, it starts me off at chapter 1 again. No thank you! Title menu. Let's, uh, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take a look at the model viewer, and then... I guess I can talk about my thoughts while we do that, and then we can... End it. Ooh, look! It's different! New Game Plus! Play any chapter. Ooh. Okay. Model viewer. So, this game overall... I think I give it like a... Like a 5 or 6 out of 10, something like that. Alright, let's take a look. This is actually, this is actually pretty cool. This is a lot like Resident Evil 4, like the bottle caps. Let's see... Oh. Jeez, okay. Uh, oh, okay, good. You can move the camera. This is awkward. He's 6 foot, 174 pounds, age 38. A fine detective, but often curt with people. Often acts before thinking things through. Did Joseph really die? Did Kimmon really kill Joseph? So, I hear that there's going to be um, some DLC where you play as Kidman. And, uh, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if I can stomach that, but, uh... Here he is with the trench coat. Oop. <laughs> don't zoom in there. He's also got his canteen, because he's a... He's a drinker. Oh my gosh. Um, let's see. Kidman. Of course. Oop, don't zoom. <laughs> Shit. It's like, well, if you just straight zoom in, it just zooms in on the crotch. Okay, so this is her sans wet t-shirt. Which I guess is a good thing. Kidman has little recollection of or interest in her past. Her only concern is what she has to do now and what will happen if she fails. She's 5'9 and 119? What the fuck? She would look a lot skinnier than this if she weighed 119 at 5'9, I think. I don't know, I mean, she's pretty skinny already, but... And that's, that's like, stick thin. I mean, like, if you're 5'4 and... 119, you're pretty skinny, but 5'9". Okay, cleavage, right? Um, yeah, so why is, why is, why is Wounded Kidman an option? Let's take a look at Joseph. I like how Kidman and, uh, Sebastian both have alternate, uh, model viewers, but Joseph's is just, you know, even though he, he played a bigger part, I think, than Kidman, at least in his dialogue. You know, uh, he had a lot more lines than she did, but whatever. She, he, he gets one model, and he's dead. <laughs> he's dead, apparently. Nurse Tatiana, all right. She's 38. All of these all these guys are in their 30s, except for Kidman. She's young. Well, 30's still young, honestly. A lot of people that aren't 30 think that 30's old, but I'm not 30, for the record. I'm not close to 30 yet, but, uh, yeah. Cool. Leslie Withers. I don't even want to. <laughs> Here's Jimenez. Hey, it's Laura. We actually didn't get to check her out. 101 pounds? She weighs 101 pounds. That seems ex ex excessive, especially for 5'6". <laughs> I don't understand these. Wait, how much? I'm sorry, I just can't help but notice. 123. 
It's slightly better. How much does uh, Ruvik weigh? Oh, 157, even though he's fucking tiny. Okay, anyway. So I just can't help but notice the, the odd weight. What does is, what is Sebastian weigh again? 174, I see, because he's the, he's the hero. Six foot one seventy four. Joseph though, one forty eight. That's pretty small. All these people are pretty small <laughs> overall, huh? One hundred and twelve pounds. Holy shit! I'm just saying, like that's really odd. All right, I got real hung up on that, but overall game is like five six out of ten. It's just repetitive. Too many instant deaths. Uh, tries to do too many things, tries to be too many different games, tries to be Silent Hill, but also Resident Evil, but also at last, like I mentioned. It's like, just ended up not working, there were like, too many homage moments, Keeper was too similar to Pyramid Head, there were just too many things that were too similar to things that we've already seen in other games, and done much better in those games than in this one. You know, like, I mean, the gameplay was probably the best aspect of the game, and Resident Evil 4 did it better. Resident Evil 4 was made 10 years ago. You know, and it's like... I mean, like, I, I thought the Agony Crossbow was really cool. If they hadn't have had the Agony Crossbow, it would have been a lot less interesting, you know, if you couldn't craft bolts, things like that. That was a that was a cool idea on their part, but it just wasn't enough to differentiate from Resident Evil 4. I mean, this game is like a subpar RE4 clone, gameplay-wise. And that's honestly the reason why I like it just why, why I kept saying like I I enjoy this you know I like this game etc. It's just because I'm a sucker for Resident Evil 4 style gameplay. I mean Resident Evil 4 is one of my top three games of all time. So I kept like trying to defend it that way, but just the story is too just absent. I guess I mean they 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 try to make it you know this vague like symbolic thing, but like. It just didn't work for me. I mean, when Silent Hill 2 did it, like, I got it, and it was great. When Silent Hill 3 did it, I got it. Silent Hill 4, like, you know, when those games did it, I got it. But with this, I just didn't get it. Like, I don't know if it was, it wasn't conveyed properly or I wasn't paying enough attention because I wasn't paying a whole lot of attention to the story after a while just because it was, it got so, you know... I don't know, I got so used to, like, not having answers for anything. And then, I don't know, just the characters weren't interesting enough. I mean, I compare this to Silent Hill 2. I know they're two different games, etc. But, like, character-wise, I mean, you know, you have your stoic protagonist, James. You know, stoic protagonist, Sebastian. Maybe stoic isn't the right word to describe James. But then, like, the side characters, like, you know, you remember Eddie, Laura... Uh, Angela, like you can, and you can describe each one of them in detail. Can you do that about these people? Like, can you describe the characters of the Evil Within without describing their appearance? Can you describe Kidman without saying anything about what she looks like? I mean, is it just by the books? She's, uh, she she knows more than she lets on. Like, it's hard. You can't do it. Like Joseph, you know, uh, he's he's by the books. He's, uh, he's very astute. He takes notes. I mean, it's just not special. But, I mean, you can just, you can go into depth, into detail about the characters in Silent Hill 2, which is why I'm using that as an example of a game with good characters, with deep, fascinating characters, compared to this. It's like, I mean, I just, just fucking describe Sebastian. It's like, oh, he, like, <laughs> that's probably the character that you can describe the best besides maybe Rubik. It's still just, it's still just not, I mean, and you can do the same thing with RE4, like, I mean, Leon, eh. he's kind of like, you know, stock protagonist number 37 or whatever, but the, the, the reason that Resident Evil 4 is such a great game is because the gameplay is just so strong that it overrides, in, in my mind anyway, it overrides all of the, the rest of the game's shortcomings, because the game doesn't have the best story, the game doesn't have, you know, the best characters, obviously, you know, but with this game, like, the gameplay is not strong enough for me to ignore the the plethora of the shortcomings that it has. 
And, I mean, this game was hyped up a lot over the past several years. It's Shinji Mikami, it's like Shinji Mikami's Return to Horror. Really, this is comparable, I'd say the game this is most comparable to is Resident Evil 6. I mean, it's basically Resident Evil 6, but with more blood and guts, with with less character development, which I didn't imagine was possible because it's friggin' Resident Evil 6. It's just, it's like a worse version of Resident Evil 6, honestly. And like, Resident Evil 6 has its charm in some places. I mean, you know, uh, Craven and I are still playing through it on, on our co-op channel. We, we finished Leon and Chris's campaign. We haven't started uh, Jake's and Ada's yet, but anyway, that's the game I can most compare this to, because it's not even, like Resident Evil 5, I'd say, was better than this, and I did not like Resident Evil 5, so, I don't know, I'd say final score, probably 5 out of 10, if I were to give it a numeric score, which I don't really believe in numeric scores, because I feel like people get hung up on them, it's like, you gave this game a 5, but you gave this game a 6, you know, if people get really uh, canonical about the numbers you give games, but... Anyway, uh, yeah, I guess that's all I have to say. Freaking, finally we finished it. I've been trying to finish this game for three months. And now I can finally move on to other stuff. Um, I'm also currently playing Silence of the Sleep, which so far is a really good game. So, I highly recommend that if you haven't been watching. I mean, it's it's a more low-key playthrough. There's no face cam, there's no high-energy commentary. It's just kind of you know, narration and, and things like that. But I like playing games like that, and it's it's pretty good so far, so. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like it, and uh, I'll see you guys later. So, thanks for watching this playthrough all the way through. I know it was pro this is probably like the playthrough that I've thought through throughout the playthrough the most times. Like, this is bad. <laughs> like, this is not entertaining. I'm gonna have to cut the shit out of this in editing. I, I, I probably thought that the most throughout this playthrough. So, thanks if you stuck it out. I know it wasn't always the best. <laughs> but, uh, both gameplay-wise and commentary-wise. But, thank you for sticking it out. And, I'll see you guys in the next playthrough. Think critically.